What is up, Watch Fam? Happy Wednesday, and welcome to this week's episode of Off Topic. I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and today I'm going to be diving into one of the most impractical but stylish shoes in the whole world the Belgian shoe. Let's do it. <laughs> In the 1940s, Henri Bendel, yes, the guy from the stores, the guy who brought Coco Chanel to the United States, designed a loafer. A sleek, simple design topped with a little bow with the softest soles the world had ever known. He took the design to Belgian cobblers, some of the only people in the world crazy enough to accept this ridiculous and yet so comfortable challenge and the Belgian shoe was born. Then in 1956, Henri Bindel gave control of his business over to his nephew, also named Henri Bindel, who then expanded the business. He took over two separate Belgian shoemaking factories, each with over 300 years of handmaking their own slippers, and the rest is history. Their only shop is located on East 55th Street between Park and Lexington, and everything from their iconic shoes to the design of their shop interior and method of ordering has remained nearly unchanged since its inception. So, why are these ridiculous? Ridiculous little loafers so important and so sought after. They're a wealthy New Yorker staple from the Upper East Side to East Hampton. Bernie Madoff had hundreds of pairs. Not that he uses on money. To relate back to watches, Belgians are the Cartier of shoes, a brand that we love carrying in the TNH shop. Like a fine tank, they're not known for their durability and practicality, but they're distinct and so well made. Priced at $465, they're not astronomically expensive, but because they're so relatively delicate, because the company themselves tells you to treat them with extreme care and only expose them to ideal weather and conditions, they're as elite as a shoe double or triple the price. But that elitism, while still certainly the bedrock of the Belgian shoe brand, has been joined by a whole new wave of wearers. They've been reappropriated, adopted by the young and tasteful. Now I see them worn to the ground with a pair of jeans as often as I do with proper trousers by artists, maybe even more so than bankers. The company offers five different styles for men. My favorite, without a doubt, the Mr. Casual. I own them in dark and medium brown, and for me, they are a go-to with trousers, which I wear very regularly, chinos, and frankly, even jeans. They come in a super wide array of uppers, from calf and suede to denim, linen, and even pony hair, making them a great medium for fun expression. They're different. I think they're handsome, and they are, without a doubt, so damn comfortable. Like walking on little, very expensive <laughs> pillows. If I didn't look down at them so often, I would probably even forget that I was wearing them. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this week's episode of Off Topic. Do not forget to like this video. Comment, please, down below with your thoughts. I would love to engage in some conversation. And, of course, check out the watch shop at theoandharris.com for everything from vintage Rolex and Tudor and Omega to Universal Geneve and all that stuff. Enjoy, guys. Boom.